If you live in the IT world, then you've heard about Ubuntu. It's that operating system that you're going to find in top of rack switches, that you're going to find in more computers facing the internet than any other in the world. And also, did you know, you're going to find it in the makerspace. That's right, I'm here at the Canonical booth trying to find out what Ubuntu is going to do in the next device that you might be building. Now, when we think of Ubuntu, we think of a, of a lightweight operating system that's full featured, that uh, has just grown over the years. Tell us a little bit about this announcement you have that they're growing into the makerspace. Sure, so today Intel announced two different items with Ubuntu and Ubuntu Core, both targeting the makerspace. The Intel Jewel is a IoT board, four core Intel integrated uh, it real sense camera, and it's made for makers to build their devices, whether it be a drone, a gateway, it's the exact same board they can start building in their device, and then they can go into mass production. They don't have to change boards. And they can do that, they can build their applications or their snaps with Ubuntu, and they can deploy at large scale with management with snappy Ubuntu core. Of course, I, I am a fan of Ubuntu. I mean, I've been using it for quite a while, but there might be makers out there who wonder why they'd want to use your OS versus something else, another Linux distro, or maybe even Windows 10 Internet of Things edition. What are the features that you think they could get out of Ubuntu that they couldn't get out of something else? So with Ubuntu Core, what you get is application isolation and security built from the ground up. And what that really means is uh, device manufacturers can build devices with a lot of headroom for those devices. When people bring a new device to market, they don't know what is everything is going to be used in that device. They don't know, am I going to be having my device do temperature? Am I going to be do, having it do um, humidity? Am I going to have it do lighting control? And with Ubuntu Core, you can have all those different applications and you can have more after the fact and you can be assured via application isolations that they'll keep working seamlessly and together. And of course the fact that I can quickly spool up the services that I need means that I can go from prototype to design to actual existing in the real world to product much more quickly. But now I got to ask you the question that everybody who ever designs anything from the Internet of Things needs to think about and that is security. If I'm going to be building this into those Joule system on module devices that I can buy from Intel, I need to make sure that my operating system isn't going to be owned the first time it touches the internet. What kind of protection do I bring into a design process if I'm using Ubuntu? So with Ubuntu from the ground up working with the hardware manufacturers, we support TPM2, which is supported by Intel, of course. And then the applications contain all their dependencies, and they run in an environment as if they're the only application on that device. So there's, they, by design, are in a read-only environment, and so other applications can't write in their namespace. They have their own unique area where they only they can write. And so people, um, applica other applications can't get in by definition. The application developer has to allow sharing of data or request other data to come in. John, I got to ask you a question that uh, it's a little difficult to answer because I'm going to ask you to be a, a fortune teller here. Where do you see this moving in the next three years, the next four years? In other words, when I come back to Intel Developer Forum and say 2020, what do you want to see Ubuntu being a part of? Do you want it to be in every device, in, in every switch, in every computer, in every laptop? What's a realistic expectation for the growth of already the most popular Linux distro on the planet? It's really an easy question. You're going to see Ubuntu everywhere where computing has to occur. You know, it used to be that computing would happen where IT departments wanted to be computing and then they get the data there. Now we're in a world where computing happens where the data is. And right, so you need to have data at the edge, right? You need to have data. If you're in a car, you don't want to send those sensor data up to the cloud to tell me, oh, is there some incoming truck coming at me, right? If you're in security, you want the encryption done locally. You need that lot of control. So you're going to see Ubuntu everywhere and many, many devices. Um, it's already in many devices and you'll just see it in more. John, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your insight. If they wanted to find out more about Canonical, more about the release of products, where should they go? They should go to Ubuntu.com slash IoT or Ubuntu.com slash Internet of Things and they can learn about devices, top of rack switches, and they can also learn about a great developer experience with something called Snapcraft, which help, helps you make these applications. There's even more information at snapcraft.io. There you have it, developers. It's time to start working with the data, with the core, with the edge, with Ubuntu.